All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and today I wanna to cover a really basic topic, but in the last uh, couple weeks, I've got a few questions on the YouTube about how to set your macros. So I wanna cover that. Um, when we were in school many, many years ago, we learned about all these equations to develop to, or to determine your um, basal metabolic rate and how much you should be eating, and there was these um, Catch, McArdle, Harris, Benedict, I don't remember all of them, but they had all these different formulas that we learned. And I remember plugging in all my data into those formulas. And I remember the results I would get were uh, pretty different. Some of them would have me eating sky high carbs. Some of them would be a lot less. And I guess I never really came to the point where I thought those were perfect tools. We all are different, we all have different metabolisms. Um, it, it's just a fact. So I kind of got away from using those calculators many, many years ago because, you know, I would have someone, for example, that would start with a slow metabolism. It just was. They'd starve their self, they were, and it would tell them, you know, to eat something that was, I knew would, would result in a lot of fat gain. So I kind of trashed those, and I thought it was making things too complicated. And where I landed, I think you're gonna find really, really simple. And many times uh, we like to really complicate things, especially when it comes to nutrition. But I have a, a really simple way I'd like to present this to you uh, that you can try. Now, a starting point is nothing more than a starting point. So even if the way I do it, and for many of you, it won't be right, it's just a starting point. The beauty of it is you just get in the game, you start somewhere, and then after a week, uh, you can start making adjustments. You can say, hmm, man, that's probably too many calories. Or you can say, man, I've lost three pounds and it's only, it's only been four days. That's, that's probably not enough. I probably need to eat more. But at least it gets you into the game. It's not complicated. And uh, I'm going to show you here on my board. What I like to do is, so let me hold this up and I'm going to walk you through this. How's that look? Good. So what I like to do with men is I basically like to take their pounds and I like to multiply it by 15. Now, I understand what you're thinking. Some people have higher body fat percentage than others. I know, I understand, I get it. But I just generally use this as kind of a starting point uh, for many people and then we adjust from there. So that gives you 3,300 calories. If you're a 220 guy, 220 pound guy, 15 uh, times 15 is 3,300. Now, um, when I say, the people I work with, these are people that are training hard. So will I have someone who's a couch potato that doesn't train, eat like this? Well, first of all, I probably wouldn't even be coaching them. So 3,300 calories is where I would start with a guy. Now, typically what I do with protein is about 1.25 grams per pound of body weight. Again, I understand people's lean mass is different, et cetera, et cetera. Don't overcomplicate this, keep it simple. So that would give you 275 grams of protein. Now. Do I think everybody needs that much protein? No, I don't. Um, toward the end of my career, for example, as hard as I was training, I was only eating one gram per, per pound. But most people are trying to gain some muscle. So 1.25 per pound is, um, I think, a pretty decent number. And if you multiply 275 grams of protein times four calories uh, per gram, you get 1,100 calories. So 1,100 calories out of that 3,300 are going to be your, it's going to be your protein. So you can just do quick math in your head and you know that's 33% of your total caloric intake for that macro. Now for fat, I always like to use 0.4. So if we had a 220 pound person, 0.4 uh, per gram would give you 88 grams of fat, nine calories per gram. So that's 792 calories of fat there. And uh, so if you add up the, well, I'll get to that. So then the carbohydrates. So if you add up the protein and the fat, you're gonna get 1,892 calories. Now remember I said the person is gonna start with 3,300 calories. So if you subtract the 1,892 from the 3,300, you get 1,408. So that's how many calories you wanna get via carbohydrates. So if you have 1,408 calories via, via carbohydrates, you divide that by four, because we know carbohydrates are obviously four calories per gram, you get 352 grams of carbs. Now, I did some quick math, and uh, again, the protein was 33% of the diet, the uh, carbohydrates was 43%, and 
and the fat was 24%. I think that's a pretty balanced macronutrient composition right there. I don't like to see people's fat go under 20%. There's some uh, pretty good literature out there that shows when your fat uh, intake starts going below 20%, you can compromise your hormones, for example. That doesn't mean the more fat you get, the more the higher your testosterone goes. I think that's kind of a myth too. The, People think, well, the more fat I eat, the more testosterone will go up. That's not true. You just want to keep it at a good number so it doesn't go down. So if you see what I'm saying there. So pretty balanced. And generally what happens when people are in a fat loss phase, I generally manipulate the carbohydrates. So that 43% will start to go down and I'll see how somebody looks. And then I might take that down and the protein down or that and the fat down and the protein up. And a lot of times uh, it'll end up looking something like 40, 40, 20 when people are dieting with me. So the protein ends up actually a little bit higher and the carbs and fat go a little bit lower. That's typically what I see. Protein, if you understand all the basics of this stuff, the thermic effect of food, protein helps your energy expenditure um, uh, via several different things, increasing energy mainly. Um, but that's how I would typically, like if you're a guy, that's, this is one way you can look at it. Now, for the females, I'm not quite as aggressive as the 15. So what I typically do is I'll use a 12. So let's say I get a lady that's at 110 pounds. I'll multiply by 12. So she might start at 1,320 calories. And I'll use a little bit less protein. I'll use one. So that's obviously 110 grams times four, it's 440 calories. The fat I keep the same. Women handle fat really well, probably a little better than guys actually. So 0.4 times 110 will give, the, will, give the, will give the lady 44 grams of fat times nine calories per gram. So that'll give her 396 calories via fat. So that's gonna give her 836 calories between protein and fat. Now, again, if you remember, she had 1,320 calories to start. So if you subtract that, that leaves her with 484 calories. Uh, that's what she should be using for her carbohydrates. So then you divide that by four and you get 121 grams of carbs. And what I find with most women is they do a little better with a little higher percentage of fat and a lower percentage of carbohydrates. It's certainly not true for everybody, for every woman, but I do think women tend to do a little better with this formula and also women i think just hormonally i think the extra healthy fats as a percentage of their diet actually i think is a very good thing so this is how i would uh advise you guys if you just want to set up something basic again this isn't perfect for everybody i'm not saying this is going to work perfect for every single person watching this video but it will get you in the game and again like if you lose three or four pounds in three or four days and you feel weak you may go, wow, I need more calories. So you'll have to adjust this up a little bit. Maybe that times 15 is times 17. And honestly, when people are sending me in their questionnaires, and if I get a, an idea that their metabolism is really slow or really fast, I'll adjust that 15. Like if their metabolism is really slow, I might go, well, we're going to use times 13 to start. Or on the other hand, it might be real fast. We might go times 17 or times 18. Same thing with women. Um, I've had some women that were 100 pounds that could eat 1,800 calories. So that's obviously times 18. So these are kind of like the medium, 15 and 12. is kind of like medium for people who are training hard. And then you can adjust up or down. That's one of the reasons why it's important to have a good questionnaire if you have clients. Um, or if you don't have clients and you're just looking at this for yourself, just think about your metabolism, where it's at. Um, so I hope that helps. I also have been told by... <laughs> by many of you all to talk about my products a little more. So I just want to throw one thing in today about a product. I do own Granite Supplements. We've been in business almost three years. Um, and I appreciated all the overwhelmingly positive comments and what supplements do I take video. It was kind of surprising to me um, that the, the comments were also positive. But thank you. I appreciate that. Um, if you're trying to burn body fat, if you're trying to set your metabolism on fire, I've got a product called Thermoburn. It's really good. It's very potent. It has uh, a lot of trademark ingredients in it. I know it's, you probably can't see in the camera, but Capsimax, uh, that's actually a red pepper extract that's really strong, good for your metabolism. It's got teacrine and caffeine in it for, for mental sharpness. It's got chocamine in it for uh, appetite uh, control, all kinds of 
good ingredients in here. Um, basically, what I wanted to do was just tell you guys that if you want to try this, honestly, this works for any product I have. Um, we have um, a code right now for first time people only. So if you've never ordered from us, you can use the code and it's Granite Strong 25. It's actually a 25% off code. It only worked one time, but um, what I found with my supplements is uh, just when I get people to use them, they love them. It's just getting people to use them. So I hope that that discount encourages you to try them. But the Granite Strong, the G is capitalized and the S is capitalized. So Graham, we'll put it up on the screen. Granite Strong 25. Um, it doesn't just work for the thermo burn. I was just thinking about metabolism and talking about this stuff. And I thought, hey, this is good for if you're fat, burn, trying to burn fat. Um, but anyways, that's it for today. We appreciate your support and um, we'll see you next time. If you like that video, I know you're gonna love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.